Aries, this is your reading for mid-December. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what is going on for you guys. Okay, we're going to do a traditional. Well, it's not traditional because I switch up the questions. <laughs> but it is a Celtic cross. And I better say that right because people come in through my throat. It's not Celtic, Diane. It's Celtic. I got it. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do a Celtic cross for you guys uh, just for an energy check-in to see what's going on for you here mid December okay okay Aries hope all you guys are doing well out there you're happy you're healthy you're thriving okay doing your thing taking care of yourself let's see what's going on for you guys okay Aries before we get into these cards here you got some stuff going on too and we're going to talk about it we're going to get your angel number out what message do you have here for aries okay aries lucky number seven here okay <laughs> look at that I am brilliant here that is your angel number coming in for mid December. That's your affirmation. Okay, to repeat, I am brilliant. Some uh, <laughs> I feel like some people may be like, mm, you're stuck up. Uh, you have an attitude. Uh, for some reason, I'm bringing in that energy. You don't have to pay attention to that, though. Okay, what your card is saying here, um, that people may be intimidated by your energy. Basically, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, your card says you possess a very defined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most here okay so you go deep both physically and uh spiritually on an information uh level as well some of you guys do a lot of studying a lot of researching uh digging into uh ancient text and trying to find um i feel ancient knowledge for some reason they're telling me about ancient knowledge here but let's go into your cards okay or ancient text aries you're showing up as a devil card here for mid-december okay so um, i'm feeling here um either you guys are separating yourself from someone or you're separating yourself from something what's crossing you here is the hermit card here some of you guys may be struggling to uh stop some habit that you have some um addiction that you may have here some of you guys may be struggling to stop something here or, or it's on your mind or something is coming in that is telling you that you need to make some changes here they're giving me a lot of stuff because the devil card can mean anything it could be any type of addiction that you may have it could be cigarettes it could be vaping it could be sex it could be porn okay it could be overeating over shopping uh over spending um over it well yeah you could be addicted to worrying you could be a little worry bug here as well and it makes you very anxious here um if that is not something you guys are struggling with then this is someone that you are trying to get away from here uh that's what i'm saying here someone i feel like you guys are trying to detach yourself from someone um or even a group of people that you feel are very uh toxic or uh they <sighs> persuade you or manipulate you or or uh try to do this okay into doing something that is not healthy for your soul because the hermit card is letting me know that there is a lot of soul searching that's happening here um and there's this energy of you wanting to withdraw from someone or something here can you do it that's the question i feel like spirit is really wanting you to go deep down inside that's where they're dragging me you have the moon card coming in um 
grounding you and the hermit energy as a challenge. So the hermit is a challenge. You're, you're being challenged here to go within. You're being challenged to do some soul searching. You're being challenged. You're they're saying challenge yourself. Man, what are you guys stepping into? I feel like there's something that you should have ended a while ago here. You got the world card here uh, in your past. So something that you felt like you brought a resolution to or a chapter that you closed off here. Aries, there's some completion that you felt was happening, but something is resurfacing here. Okay, that's exactly the energy that I'm getting. And this is either a person that's coming back to deceive you and you keep letting them back into your life here or this is you deceiving yourself that you need to stop something or change something here in your life all right hmm. they want you to uncover life's mysteries here your life mystery here i feel like you're trying to get on your soul path but you guys may be struggling to really get there i see you working though um, but you're going to have to take some time for yourself. And if the hermit card is coming, crossing, crossing you here, Aries, it's letting me know you're struggling to, uh, get some alone time to get some time to yourself. You may have a lot of people at you or trying to get at you or wanting to be around you, wanting to be all up in your face and in your energy field here. Okay. You need some time to chill, to think, to plan, to heal spiritually and mentally and physically you have to give yourself that time to rejuvenate to align yourself with your next step here in life okay not even the big picture of your soul's purpose here on this planet but just aligning yourself with your next plan okay whatever you're planning to do you need some quiet time right now at this moment and i feel like for the rest of december you may be pulled or you may feel it very deep here in your soul that you need this rest you you need to retreat uh, that's the energy that they're giving me here, okay? Spirit is wanting you to rely on your inner guidance here and let that guide you towards uh, spiritual healing or healing your, your uh, heart chakra here. For some reason, they're giving me heart chakra energy here, okay? Some of you guys need to go on a vacay or you will be doing this. I see some traveling happening with the moon card. They're connecting this moon card with everything. Uh, but in your future energy here, the near future, you have the six of swords that's coming up here. So will you get to a calmer place? Yes. But it's going to take you a minute to get there. I feel, um, I feel like you have to like, you have to cut something something off or someone off. Could be a group of people. Or you just need to take some time away from them. And not just cut them off completely. But take time for yourself to uh, just put up some boundaries right now at this moment. Um, or pack your bags and go on a vacay. <laughs> That's what I feel. Some of you guys may be doing this. You may be doing some traveling. Um... You may be trying to move around and just get into a new environment, get into some, uh, see something new, uh, get into some type of um, zen. That's what that's the word. And they said that shit loud. Get you some zen here, <laughs> Aries. OK, because the six of swords is all about you moving into a better state of mind. It's about releasing back uh, baggage that you have clutter up in your damn head in your heart here as well okay they're connecting both of them uh together but they're wanting you to also accept the lessons that you may have learned from the past the things that you have gone through the things that you may have released yourself from those completed lessons some of you guys have completed a lesson i'm gonna give you an example like a smoker here okay you stop smoking and uh three four months pass and something happens something triggers you and you go back to smoking here okay you completed some uh very hard cycle here and that doesn't have to resonate with you but i feel like some of you guys may be battling with something like that okay because the devil card is coming in showing you as this devil card here or dealing with this energy of addiction or obsession or attachments um to something or someone okay sex <laughs> all right or porn 
I'm just saying. And I'm not saying that any of this stuff is bad. This is something that you could definitely work on, whatever you guys are struggling with here. My heart, my energy goes out to you that you overcome these challenges here. And I feel like you will, but... um and I feel like you will because of the Six of Swords, overcoming hardship, overcoming challenges here. But you have to step into that energy. It's all about um, your free will here. And you have to have willpower and have a reason to want to stop those things. Possibly talk to someone about it or... Um, Seek a professional, whatever you're dealing with here, okay? Or journal about it here, okay? Whatever it is that you need to release. I see you wanting to do it. Your emotions is the Eight of Cups. Some of you guys want to get out of a physical environment here, okay? But you're lacking in transportation or there's some issue here. That's what I'm feeling. Um, They got buses, <laughs> okay? Get out that way. Uh, and I don't mean public transportation. I mean Greyhound. All right. Or uh, the train. Use a train or get on a plane. OK, uh, rent a car if you need to do so. But there is some energy here that you want to step away from some situation and uh, your feelings is telling you this. The future energy is letting me know that you will be taking those steps to um, bring that change into your life. Yeah. You have wedge coming in here. So someone's trying to wedge in between you releasing some baggage or you walking away or letting go of some energy that you feel may be toxic, may be restricting you and not move, helping you move forward. This could be you putting the a wedge in between you releasing yourself from something here. OK, it says someone is trying to come between you and uh, something that you want here. OK, something someone you guys want to be free from something or someone here okay that is your feelings coming in here what else do you have here for Aries I've told you to put up healthy boundaries and that's what they're saying put up the shield here Aries you need to defend yourself here at this time all right so what you don't see coming in is the temperance card that's coming in here okay what you don't see coming in the next few months and connected with your future energy what you don't see is peace okay you don't some of you guys don't see a way out of a situation but there is but i feel like spirit is telling me that you guys are going to have to take action like this shield that's coming up here aries you have to take action you have to put some force behind your thoughts and those plans that you have created you have to drive that through either your own head or <laughs> you have to drive that through in someone else's head like I need time I need to re uh, release myself I need to have some time by myself I I I'm putting up these boundaries because I'm trying to get myself together right now at this moment here it's all about you balancing your life here uh, with this temperance card that's coming in all right they want you to also um, work to bring things back into harmony and also do things in moderation so if you are addicted to something you love eating you love cake and cookies and shit i know i used to and sugar is so addicting okay like i said it could be any type of addiction it took me it's taking me because i'm still on this road it's taking me a long time to get over this whatever your addiction is you will be able to overcome it though okay balance will come back into your life temperance energy that's coming in compliments from it at admirer here so some of you guys um may have people around you that may be supporting you that's what i'm seeing or will come into your life to support you this could be close friends and families here okay so the people places and things that influence you here uh you have the nine of pentacles definitely uh people that have your best interests in mind this could be people that you work with doesn't have to be a uh, family here okay some of you guys find a lot of comfort in working uh putting your energy or staying busy that helps you stay balanced and focused here uh spirit is saying invest your time in yourself here as well and learn to appreciate your own solitude okay 
you have the fe feather coming in clarifying this nine of pentacles someone you know is undependable and insecure here okay you need to weed them out you need to figure out who that is maybe uh taurus virgo capricorn someone giving me leo energy as well someone that you're dealing with here they're not dependable here whoever this is wants to be single they want to be on their own you may be ready for a commitment ready for a relationship ready to move things along here and uh you you may be dealing with someone that is not ready to do that here okay some of you guys feel like whoever you're dealing with may be a cheater or they have cheater tendencies here okay we're just clarifying some of this as we go along but i'm feeling like since this feather card come came out for you guys you may be seeking freedom from whoever you feel is undependable and you cannot trust them or you cannot um receive the love you can't get your love reciprocated from this person you may be seeking your own freedom here okay some of you guys will be single by march that's what I'm saying here. As we come from the temperance card to the nine of pentacles, that's when uh, that's within the next few months here. Uh, what's going to be happening for you guys? So uh, you may be totally finished and walking away from a situation or a person here. Because your future energy is you releasing this uh, baggage here okay so your outcome you guys are going to be just fine you have the strength card that's coming in here okay so you will persevere through these challenges here you also have the nest coming in for some reason i'm feeling like they're telling you to uh work on creating the nest egg or don't don't put all, don't put all your eggs in one basket here because someone that you're dealing with is undependable and insecure. That is a message that just came in towards me here. I also feel like you guys need to save for a rainy day. So they want you to pay attention to your finances here as well. Okay. Uh, your card uh, is saying an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Like I said, some, your family will support you. You guys may be dealing with a lover that you have to let go of or uh, a love interest that you have here. Okay. What is going on with this? Before we go into that, let's clarify some of this like I just told you I would. We're just going to take a, a moment and look at this energy here. before we even shuffle Aries okay you guys have the teacher coming in clarifying this moon card here okay your words have the power to heal even yourself here okay don't be deceived <laughs> don't uh don't doubt your own abilities basically that's what I feel like this card is saying like the number seven here you possess a very defined mind in a deep urge to uncover like to uncover life's mystery so they also are letting me know that you hold ancient knowledge for some reason i heard that in the beginning and it's definitely coming up here as well um with this teacher card so it's wanting you to know that your words have the power to heal making you a source of life for the wounded that come to you for your guidance and wisdom to give them strength and direction this is something that you need to uh, work on yourself give that word of wisdom to yourself some of you guys know the changes that you need to be making here okay in your life so the eight of cups that's coming in here your feelings here there's some magnetism towards someone that's what you have coming in here Aries some magnetism towards someone you have a natural natural ability to make others come after you <laughs> I told you come after you okay possessing a powerful aura that makes it uh difficult to stay away this could be someone from the past it could be just someone okay that can't get enough of you but uh your sweetheart here aries that's what they are letting me know okay you live for um you live from love, seeing the uh, divinity and love beneath the surface and shaping others' world and experiences through the perception of the heart here. Okay, they're very uh, 
attracted to you. They're also letting me know that you guys are on the right path here uh, mid-December in regards to your financial uh, endeavors here. Okay, Eight of Pentacles is uh, crowning you, is letting me know what's on your mind truly is you just being the damn boss. That's what it is. You just want to be a boss and you are. Okay, so <laughs> you got some stuff going on, some things that you have to address here. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of soul searching, but you still have that under control where you are um, focused on financially securing yourself or working on your uh working hard at your job or working uh hard on your projects or your own company your whatever you're passionate about here you're working very hard and hard and they're saying that this type of commitment here aries okay you paying attention uh and a uh, paying a excuse, get my words together paying attention to details when it comes to your finances and your money here they're saying that you have your shit together, being precisely who you are and in hot pursuit of your goals that they captivate and inspire others here. So keep that in mind when you feel like shit ain't going right. Just know, <laughs> know that you are on the right path. We all got to go through these icky lessons. They're very difficult sometimes here, okay? But I, I do see you moving out of that energy. I'm kind of drawn and stuck on. You're so lucky, okay? Especially with this angel number seven here uh, coming in, Aries. I know that you will be able to release any baggage that you have. The caramel waters will be coming in. Some of you guys may be feeling like you're going through the storm right now. The storm, okay, will be ending soon here. They just want you to accept the lessons that you have learned in the past and make some uh, changes coming into the near future here, okay? Let's get your final message out. All right. I totally flipped over. What final message do you have here for Aries? Mm -hmm. yes. So get some earth elements around you here, Aries. That's what I'm feeling. As I'm pulling out this card, I feel like you guys need to get some... Uh, some earth elements or put some plants in your house okay put it by the window um get your patios together <laughs> uh clean it up and put some uh some decorations up if you guys uh want to do that make sure you get some cedar to burn sage to burn cleanse your house get you some crystals or just get you some earth elements i i like plants okay um and I try to incorporate that even if I go get uh, flowers to put on my desk or on my kitchen table or, you know, wherever I want to put those. I just like to have that energy around, that earthy energy. And I feel for some reason when I picked up this car spear, I want you to do the same thing. So your message here, Aries, is growth. Okay. And you also have wood. And pandas are a very good, they're very lucky. Uh, sign here I feel in, in um, Asian or Chinese culture here okay there is auspicious energy around you you are experiencing vigorous growth and with vigorous growth you go through changes you go through some shit okay just go look at my community section I'll put a post under there and I want you to read that Okay, your card is saying this is a good time to learn and develop new ideas here, okay, by taking those periodic hermit moments here, okay, don't fight against those when you need to rest and you need to rejuvenate yourself, when you need to withdraw and do some introspection, some reflection, do that here, okay, don't deny yourself the right to do that. So break away from old unhealthy habits and step out of your comfort zone. Your reward is ahead. And I told you, 
<laughs> your reward is ahead here. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in your next reading. You guys take care of yourself. If you got your message out of this reading, if you resonated with this message, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell, Aries, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.